riding felt pretty good today. Felt pretty solid on the bike, and, and like things were coming in pretty easy for the most part. But I did ride a little bit inconsistently in a few sections. Just a few of them I really had to force to hold on to a clean or a good ride, and other ones felt easy even though they were the harder sections. But overall, I got to be happy with my riding because I was, I was watching Carl ride a lot and he was riding really well. I had a feeling he was going to be up there and he kind of motivated me to, to put some good rides in too. And then Josh rounding out the podium in third gives a RYP Factory 1 podium, which is really awesome. It was great to, to do that. And yeah, the bike's running great and the team's really supportive of all of us and it really shows. So a yeah, good day today and hoping for another good one tomorrow. The day was actually pretty great. You know, first time that I felt like I was having fun out there. I woke up this morning feeling good. And the first lap, everything went really smooth. I think the first lap was actually my best lap of the day. So after that, I was just having fun for the whole rest of the day. Second lap was really good as well. So I knew I was in a good position. I didn't look at the scores, but uh, I knew the third lap was going to count. Cause I could feel the pressure from the other guys. But, um, you know, just made pull out another good last lap and ended up second. So I'm really happy with that. Puts me in a good place for points for uh, tomorrow to try and seal second place for the series. And, you know, with Josh getting third helps gap Daniel and Alex so I'm just looking forward to tomorrow and it being over and see what happens so let's do this yeah today was a pretty good day for me I'm pretty happy with my results uh, I really, I was starting off really good in section two I was probably one of the harder sections and I was able to start off with a clean and so I was really happy with that and uh, it was able to carry on for the rest of the day I made a few mistakes here and there but other than that, um, I would have had second, but I ended up five in a section that I could have cleaned. I uh, just went, just got off to a rock, and then just lost my balance off to the right, and ended up going through an expert split. Otherwise, I would have ended up second, but I mean, I can't really complain. I ended up third, and it's my best finish overall, and let's see what tomorrow brings. Uh, I was disappointed with Saturday in my riding. It seemed that my riding was there, but it seemed that I overthought a lot of things that I rode and it seems I couldn't piece together a full ride on my first loop and it just it just didn't go my way. Uh, going into my second loop I tried to think less about it and try to just focus on what I needed to do and get done and do it. I lowered my scores but it was already too late. Same with the third loop. I had a really good third loop but my first loop killed me so bad that it it just it almost made it so that I couldn't catch up. It was, it was such a deep hole and I think going into Sunday I'm going to have a better mindset and focus on what I need to do and that's it. I don't need to think about anything else. And, I mean I'm happy with my riding. The result is okay for the championship but it's not where I sh thought I would have been and it's not where I should be for this kind of area where I'm used to. It was a pretty good day for me. I still had uh, some mistakes that I want to get rid of. So I got a lot of ones. Those are hurting me a lot. I had five in my last loop and it came with 17 points. I lost fifth by five points. So really frustrating to still have those dabs, but I hope to clean it up tomorrow in the last day of the series. The section's really fun. I had some really good obstacles, you know, a lot of technical stuff, nothing dangerous, nothing too big. So I had a lot of fun and you know it's a beautiful place to ride out here in Oregon and I'm excited for tomorrow and to really give it another go trying out the podium. Today was pretty difficult. I feel like I had a hard time finding a groove and I just kind of struggled through most of the sections. Um, yeah, I just I just like couldn't uh, be aggressive or just like find a flow out here. Like I had a couple good rides and then it kind of just went difficult, but um, I was the only one in my class, so I was happy about that. <laughs> Saturday was a pretty solid day for me. I started off pretty good with a uh, 11 point first lap and the sections were pretty technical so I was pretty happy to have no dabs on setups or it was just me fighting uh, with the slick terrain and trying to just do my best and then on the second lap I had a 10 point, 10 point loop so I was really happy to pull through on that and I had a few really good cleans that boosted my confidence and then coming into the last lap I only had an hour to finish and the loop was really long so I had to rush through and um, I ended up taking points where I was previously cleaning and fives where I was previously threeing. So to end on a 21 point lap, it's not quite what I was looking for, but it's what I needed. So um, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy to end my expert career like this and I'm um, happy to announce I'm riding pro tomorrow and um, look forward to see what's coming my way. Today was rough. Uh, my first loop was all right. I was got caught behind all the pros and kind of killed my pace. I 
was waiting in the line every single section. Then going to the second loop, I think section four, I crashed really awkwardly and rolled my ankle really hard. Then after that, I couldn't really stand on the bike, hop on the bike, so it was kind of just a push fest to the end. But I finished, and I guess that's all right. But congratulations to Will on his championship and Pat on his 11th championship. Today was a relief for me. I was finally able to ride without having the pressure of the championship on my mind, and that really helped me enjoy the ride quite a bit more. It was probably the most enjoyable event of the season for me. Not necessarily the sections, although they were good and technical, more so just, just in my head, it was just much more enjoyable when I could loosen up a little bit and just ride for fun. You know, sometimes I lose sight of that a bit when I put all the pressure on myself to ride my best, and still rode really well today. Had uh, a bunch of single dabs here and there that were pretty necessary, just fell off my line or spun or didn't, didn't quite uh, hit where I wanted to, ended up with 10 points and got to be happy with that. I yeah, can't thank the team enough for putting together such a good program. The Factory One Moto Trials and RYP really stepped it up this year and, and really happy with their support and Ryan as well. He, he really pointed out some great lines and just gave me the confidence in the lines we were hitting to make sure my tires were on point and that I would make it to the top if I did everything I needed to do and uh, happy to end, an, end the series on a good note. Today was a pretty good day for me. I'm pretty happy with my third place, and uh, I thought the sections were a little bit harder today, and they were still really good. I really enjoyed them. And uh, my first two loops, they were a little bit iffy. I had a couple mistakes here and there, but I was able to clean it up my third loop and come in with a nine-point loop, and so that put me in third today. And uh, overall, championship-wise, I got fit, and so I couldn't thank the Factory One RIP USA team enough, and with all their support and everything, and big thanks to them. Sunday was a rough day. I feel like I couldn't shot my flow all day, it just nothing really worked out. First lap was rough, second lap was a little better, the third lap I improved, but it just wasn't enough. Um, I ended up taking, I think, sixth today, so I got third overall in the championships. I'm a little bummed about that, but you know, we tried to dig ourselves out of the hole that we made in Nebraska and came close, so that you know, was a tough year, but you know, already looking forward to next year. So. See what happens. Sunday started really bad for me on the first loop. I took uh, three or four fives where other people were making it through and they, it added up. I ended with a really, really bad first loop with 29 points. But I looked forward to the next loops and on the second loop I made improvements. I worked my way through the sections and lowered my score just about everywhere. And going into the third loop I, you know, just took it section by section and ended with a nine point loop which was a huge improvement 20 points from uh, my first loop so you know the bike worked great my minder Louis Valapu did a wonderful job and uh, couldn't ask more from the team just wish I had uh, provided a little bit more of myself in Oregon here I didn't uh, didn't do quite as well as I thought I would I had a lot of fun today um, I wish I could have capitalized on a lot of my success a little bit more but just had a few too many mistakes. It really hurt me, but the sections were a lot of fun. Just had too many crashes. I missed my front tire on a big drop off and nailed my elbow and hand on a rock, so that kind of sucked. I had a lot of fun, you know, it was a great place to ride. The sections were a lot of fun. You know, hats off to all the other competitors, they had they did really well. And I was glad I was able to pull out eighth and hold Will Myers off for one more year because he's right on the edge and uh, it'll probably be really great coming up in the future. So. Thanks to all the other organizers and you know, all the sponsors and anything like that. A big shout out to my wife and kids. Thanks for letting me come out here and uh, let me enjoy myself. Sunday was a pretty in interesting day for me. I started off really solid in the pro class with a 23 point lap. And I was feeling really nice on the bike and was able to hit all my marks. And then coming into the second loop, I was riding well until uh, section five where I got a five in a section that I had previously won. And, and then that just kept, uh, that led to me to get five more consecutive fives, so uh, that kind of put a damper on my mental game, but I stayed strong and was able to clean the rest of the loop. And then coming in my third lap, I knew that I could correct some of these fives and maybe get them to threes or twos, so that's, that's what I did, and I, uh, I almost halved my second loop score with the last loop of 18 points, and 
I'm pretty happy with my pro debut and uh, I'm looking forward to next season. Uh, today was definitely better than yesterday. Um, I feel like I was able to have some good rides in the sections. Um, I definitely realized that I'm, I need to practice more in like the loose, bumbly creek stuff. So that's my goal for the next few months, winter time. Today was not too good. Uh, started off terrible. Probably one of the worst nationals I've ever ridden, first and second lap. Then on the third lap, first section of the loop, I got really dug out and I actually cleaned the first floater but then I felt my ankle pop again but then it ended up feeling better for the third lap and I was actually able to clean up some sections on the third lap. So I think I went 26, 26, 13 so I was able to finish on a high note for the season but it, first and second lap really screwed me up for the overall day but I'm happy. I ended on a good note and I'm ready for 2020. And with an unbelievable 44 points for the day, Will Myers. Yeah. Top rider today, Luis Forsley, 63 points. Third place with 47 points, Josh Roper. Three points, better than Josh. Second place today goes to Carl Davis Jr. And topping the day with eight incredible points, Pat Smudgen.